Today's video, we are going back to what used to be one of my favourite breweries, Daya. And this is their Senense. Senensense. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm not sure what it's going to be like. They are a little bit hit and miss at the moment, but this has got Muteka and Nelson Sorvin. So the hops are good. Let's hope the beer is. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to Daya down in Cheltenham. And this is their, I'm going to try and pronounce it again, Senescence. Senescence. It is an IPA. Uh, it's a juicy IPA, as it says. A tropical limey juicy IPA with the all-star New Zealand hop lineup of Nelson Sorvin and Muteka. A very sort of fancy looking uh, can, sorry. We've got the croc appearing multiple times. It's a nice 500 mil can. That's great. ABV wise, what are we looking at? Oh, it's hiding the ABV. 6.5%. Right bang in that sweet spot, I think, for IPAs. So let's crack it open, get it in the glass and see what it's all about. Yeah, as I said, they have been a bit hit and miss. When they hit, they hit really good. They make really good beers. But when they miss, you know, it's all very sort of average and it, it pales in, you know, in significance to sort of a lot of other breweries, really. But, you know, they... I think a lot of the time they've changed a little bit of their the way that they brew because they don't seem to have that. They used to always be known for their great mouthfeel, really sort of creamy, velvety mouthfeel. But a lot of the recent beers have not quite hit that. But anyway, that's the past. This is the present. Beer in glass. Well, it's a lot more orangey than I would expect, really, especially for those sort of hops. I'm expecting really much more of a yellowy custody sort of colour, straw coloured beer, but we've got a very orange beer here, two fingers, fairly compacted head. It looks okay. I'm not blown away with the look of this beer because I, I, when I see them too orangey, I start getting a little bit, a bit concerned, but let's see what the aroma's like. Well, it's certainly got a nice pungent aroma, but you're getting a lot of, uh, you are getting a, quite a lot of lime in there. Mm. Limes, a little bit of grapefruit, melon. There's a sort of, there is a sort of orangey sort of aroma, which is a bit weird for Muteka and Nelson Sorvin. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. Mmm, that's good, actually. It's refreshing. First thing you hear is that, zingy sort of zesty flavour it's a little bit weird in that, that a lot of that zest and citrus is orange citrus because i would not expect orange anywhere near these two hops i hope it's all right i mean i think it certainly tastes good but it just is so unlike the flavour that i thought it was going to be Mouthfeel wise, it's it's fairly soft, but I wouldn't say it's velvety. It's very light. There's a little bit of zippy carbonation in there, but then that does add to the overall refreshment. I think that the big thing for Daya is they've changed their malt bill hope profile because there's a real sweetness in here. I'm just having a quick look whether it says what it, whether it I mean, it's probably just going to say made with oats and maybe that's the thing. Actually, I can't even see the ingredients on here. It says it's got allergies, barley, but it doesn't say it doesn't say the actual ingredient. Say anything about whether it's got oats in it. It doesn't. And, and to be honest, yeah, weird, weird. It doesn't say that. For me, it doesn't. It it doesn't really have that sort of oatiness about it. I get more of the sweet and sweet malt flavours coming from it. And that is where that orangey flavour is coming from. In terms of the hops, they're the most subtle use of Muteka and Nelson Sorvin that I've ever that I've had, I think, ever. It's not obvious that there's Nelson Sorvin in it with a lot of beer, especially ones that are more yellowy and oaty sort of in terms of the profile. Very Nelson-y, very gooseberry grape. But I'm not picking up that much. I'm getting... 
lots of orange and then sort of mango and tropical stuff as well passion fruit even and there's just this sort of subtleness of those sort of flavors i'd almost say melon's coming in more lime is coming in a bit more there's no no bitterness at all i'm even not even getting a real sort of a back end flavour. It's a very smashable IPA, even if it's a six percent, six point five percent. It's fruity. That's what it is. It's fruity. It's got. It's soft on the mouthfeel, but light. I'm working out. I like it. I taste pretty good. It's one of those sort of beers. I say it on the channel. I've said it more than once. Certainly. Is that when you're a beer YouTuber, you're overanalyzing beers because you know I want to give you all the facts as much as I can, the real detail of the beer. I'm sure, there's people I know there's people out there that want to hear that. But if I sort of poured this beer out, and we we're sitting in a pub and we just drank this beer, we go, "That's nice," and we'd leave it at that, you know. And that's what this beer is. It's it's got lots of fruity flavors, but fl but the flavors aren't overly strong. It doesn't go to it doesn't certainly doesn't go dank. So, but the flavours are bright, light, zesty, a little bit of sweetness in there. Probably more sweetness than you normally would expect from an IPA like this. But it's still a good beer. Is it day as best? No, I mean, I think the summer day as beers, incredible. I mean, I'm interested to see what those beers that I had, you know, a year, 18 months, two years even ago, which I think when Dale were really, in my opinion, the top, the top of their game. If I took those and had them now with some of the great beers I've had from Track and Asvex um, and Polly. I mean, Polly's again is more consistent. I haven't seen them add Polly's that recently. I mean, look what I want. I've had them pretty good recently. I mean, even like some Pentrix that have been making some really good beers. Um, yeah, but certainly Track, Verdant. Uh, sure Shot and Asvex are, are, are for me my sort of go-to favourite beers and Polly's as well. Daya would always have been in there, but I'm interested. I'll be interested in what these beer, those old beers, will be like against those great Asvex beers that I've had recently, for example. But this is still a good beer, but unfortunately, it's not up to the Daya's best. And when Daya do it good, they do it bloody good, really, really good. You know, it was. A really um, cracking beer experience I had when I went to Daya. And all the beers I had that day were really good. And, uh, and I think I think I had them. They were all pints as well. Pints of, of, of great Daya beer. Lots of different ones with different hops, different flavours. I stuck mainly to IPAs, which I don't always do when I go to tap rooms. And they were really, really good. And I bought the cans and I drank them and I thought, yeah, these are really good. And then I became like, a, you know, a super fan of Daya. But they, you know, credit where it's true with other breweries, if, they were, if they're not so great, but they got better. I want to tell people about that. But Daya, for me, I've dipped a little bit. They dipped from a very high place. I mean, you could say, well, they were that high that there was only one way to go, and that was down. But, you know, it's a, it's, it's, it's disappointing because this beer is, is a really nice beer. And I'm not even quite sure what I'm going to give it into, whether it would hit the highly recommended, but I think it's going to probably hit more the lower end, the the higher end, sorry, of the of the recommended. It's a very good beer, but it isn't quite a great one. But let's get those scores. Okay, the scores are in for Senescence. I'm sticking with that pronunciation. Senescence. It's a 6.5% IPA with Muteca and Nelson Sorvin. It's the most uncharacteristic Nelson Sorvin and Muteca beer that I think I've ever had. Um, it's soft. It's juicy. It's light. It's very, very drinkable and enjoyable. But is it the best that day I have ever made? Well, I have to say no. But let's go through the scores, starting with aroma. Appearance. Flavour, value for money. Uh, this one was actually it's got the I don't know why it's got the price number five pound ninety. I don't remember having going to. Uh, this is from a Pross bottle shop. I don't remember them putting stickers on their beers before five pound ninety. It, it's, a, it's a top end. I would want to pay for an IPA, but at the same time, it's a five hundred mil 
um, can. So it's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty pretty good out of value for money. And then finally, my overall experience. Tighten the scores up. Yes. Well, as I expected, we are at the high end of the recommended total score. It's a very good beer, but it isn't quite a great beer. It's not quite highly recommended. I've had lots better than this before, but at the same time, this is definitely one of the, a good beer, you know. Um, so let me know if you've had it. I'm sure that this has been around before. Um, I ha When I picked it up, I thought, oh, that sounds really good, like the hops and all the rest of it. And I thought, oh, I'm sure I've seen that before. Maybe I've had it. And I, I looked at my all my videos and I haven't reviewed it and I don't think I have drank it, but... It's a good beer and it's just been re-released, as it were. So, Senescence by Daya. Let me know if you've had it. Let me know what you think of Daya these days. If you had a really great beer from Daya uh, recently, let me know in the comments and let me know, especially let me know what it is and I'll, and I'll try and seek that out and drink it, do a review of it. But as I said, I don't think Daya are quite as good as they were, but when they're at the top of the game, they are one of the top breweries in the UK. So, hope you've enjoyed this video today. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It really helps the channel. If you subscribe, get more subscribers in. We're getting close to that 1700 mark now. And hopefully we're going to hit it in the summertime. And, uh, you know, maybe we go beyond that. So, uh, yeah, please give your support to the video. I really appreciate any comments you make. I like hearing what you have to say about the state of craft beer at the moment. So please let me know everything you want to in the comments. And until the next one, you know what you're going to do. Drink good craft beer. And keep on rocking.